Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing this law enforcement camera. This is a pocket camera that you can have on your shirt or on your jacket or vest and you can then record the events that are happening what live whilst they are ongoing. This camera can be used uh, by um, security guards, uh, law enforcement agents, um, private investigators as well as um, for example taxi drivers uh, for their own protection and to capture evidence on the go. Before we continue with our videos, if you do enjoy our videos, do please hit that like button and please do subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the camera itself, uh, so it's, as I mentioned, this is a law enforcement camera. This is a 32 gigabyte camera. And here in the box, we've got a few features. So it does feature infrared night vision. It's got mobile wireless intercommunication. It's got 180 degree lens rotation, and it's got a super long endurance battery. Um, it does come with a 32 gigabyte SD card. Um, just be aware that some vendors um, may not include the 32 gigabytes SD card. I am including them with all of my sales. So on the side here, so it does have some illustrations as to what you can use this camera for. You can use it for uh, motorcycle uh, riding, uh, records um, in public, records uh, whilst on the go on the road. On the other side, you can use it for sports, um, delivery, uh, as well as radical sports or outdoor sports. And at the bottom here, nothing much else to share. So. The camera does feature a um, an LCD uh, display, and this LCD display is 1.3 inch, and it also records at 2K, which is awesome to see. So let's go ahead and unbox. So inside the box, we've got the camera right here. So if I can remove it, probably this side would be the best. Okay. So we've got the camera. We have got a USB-C charging cable. We've got a bike stand mount for your bicycle or for your motorcycle. And we've got an instruction manual that comes in Chinese as well as in English. Okay, so I'm just gonna move that out of the way and let's have a look into the camera. So the camera, as I mentioned, it does feature a display here. So this is a 1.3 inch display. It says here that it records in HD 1080p or you can view in um, HD 1080p. Like I mentioned, it does record 2K. On the side, we've got the record button. So this button here, uh, if you flip it up, it will start recording. And for you to save the recording, just flip it down and it will stop recording. We've got a power button here. We've got a fast forward and rewind button. We've got a camera shutter button and we've got a rotation button right here. So looking here on the other side, we've got the clip here for your shirt or your vest. You can also connect this to a tripod and we've got the front facing camera right there. On the other side, we've got the microphone. We've got a button here to record audio. So once we switch it on, it will only record audio. It will not record the video. I'm going to leave it off. We've got a mode or menu button. Then we've got a back button. Then we've got a reset input right over there. And here goes the SD card. So this is it in terms of the visual uptake of this camera. So I am now going to switch it on and we'll have a look at the settings. So to switch it on, just basically press the power button and this will now switch on the camera. And I have tested the camera and the battery does last for about eight hours of recording. However, you need to turn off the screen, otherwise this, with the screen on, it will only record so just about four hours. So now that we've got the um, device powered up, so you can have a quick look here to see what the quality looks like. So I am turning on the camera here onto the other side, as you can see. 
the uh, quality is actually pretty decent i'm not sure about night though but um, it's a matter of us testing so next up what i'm going to go here is through some of the functions so on the side here like i mentioned we've got a microphone and we've got the button to record audio so as i switch on this button it will start recording audio only it will not record the video so i'm going to now switch it off by just turning it down here so the recording now stops then i've got the back button here where i can then go on to the main screen then we've got the second button here which is a menu button so if i just tap on it then we can set a few settings as you can see here. So let's have a look here at resolution. Now to navigate through the menu, you have to press the power button here, which is OK. And then we've got the back and forward button. So if I want to go into the resolution, so I just press one here on the power button that takes me into the resolution and I can set it to 2K, to 1920 or to 1280. I'm going to leave it as it is here by default and to uh, select it, just press the power button again. Then down here, we've got the image quality. So under image quality, if I open it, so I'm going to leave it at three megapixels. And that is OK. Then we've got cyclic recording. OK. I'm going to leave it as three minutes so cyclic recording basically it will create a three minute file and then it will create another three minute file and so on i'm going to leave it as it is then we've got the uh, white balance here that we can change i'm not going to change that now and let's go down here to motion detection so motion detection basically it will allow me to set the camera on and it will only record when there is motion in this case it's off i don't need to use it and then we've got audio settings. So in this case, audio is on. We've got date tag. So date tag here basically allows me to set the, the camera to date stamp on the recording. I don't want to do that at the moment, but you can do it. Beep sound, you can turn it on and off. Time settings. So here you can set the date and time for your device. I am not going to set it at the moment, uh, so I will just go out of the menu. So let's go back in and then go down here to the settings again. Um, so we've got auto power off. Auto power off is basically uh, if you leave your device on and you want it to turn off, you can set here for the device to power off after one minute or three minutes. I'm not going to do that now. Then we've got language setting, and here we, we can change to various languages available. So it's got a wide range of languages. And then we've got the flicker and we've got screensavers. So screensaver, this is the important bit here. So if I open the screensaver and here, so basically what this is, what this means is that the screen here will turn off when the recording is ongoing for three minutes. In this case, I can set it five or 10 minutes. So this is important because it will save the battery and it will extend the recording time. So basically, you start recording. After three minutes, the screen will go off, but it will still continue recording. So the the uh, battery efforts are on the recording rather than actually on the display. So this actually saves a lot of battery. Like I mentioned during my tests, its um, recording time was about eight hours uh, with uh, the screen off. With the screen on, it was about four hours. So I'm going to leave it as three. And then we've got here resolution switching. Um, I'm going to set it to no, so leave it by default. We've got the volume because this does have a speaker. Uh, so when you are um, actually uh, viewing the videos that you recorded, I'm going to leave it as default. The picture quality as well. Here you can define if you want economic, normal or fine. Uh, of course, um, if you set it to fine, it will occupy more space, but the quality will be higher. Then you've got pre, uh, video pre-recording, which I'm um, just going to leave it as default. You've got time-lapse option, uh, file view mode, siren announcement, modified device number. You can format the SD card here. So to format, basically just uh, select the option, click on OK, and this will format the 
SD card. So that's done. And then here you can reset the system defaults or the option default. And then we've got the version. And that's it really in terms of the menu. No additional settings here to, um, to be looked at. So I'm going to press here on the menu button. It will go back to the main screen. And on the other side then, we've got here recording button. So to record or to start recording, basically switch on the uh, button here on the side. As you can see, it is now recording. So I've got the recording currently ongoing and the quality is actually pretty, pretty neat. And to stop recording, just switch the button here back to off. And this will stop the recording. Press the M button here to exit. And that is it. And then on the side here, so we've got the button to invert the camera. So if I press it one, so it, it will invert it vertically. And if I press it again, it will invert it again. So it's normal. Then we've got the shutter button right here at the bottom. So if I press it, it will take a picture. And that is it in terms of these functionalities. So if I want to view the videos that I've got recorded, so basically just press on this button right here and uh, here i can select the videos that i want to see for example if i want to see this video i just press on it so it's currently playing the video as you can see so the quality is actually not bad and it does have audio as well Okay, so that is how this camera works. So to transfer data away from the camera onto a computer, all you need to do is use the provided USB cable, connect it to the device down here, connect it to a computer and transfer the data. The, the other option that you've got is to uh, remove the SD card and uh, connect the SD card onto a computer and then just copy the data from the SD card onto a computer. Um, so to charge the device, just connect the USB cable right here and this will then charge the device as well. So this is a pretty neat camera. It is, um, it is uh, functional. Um, and in terms of the quality, it, it is all right. So it is a camera that you can use uh, if you are a security guard, um, if you are doing a delivery business or Uber um, and you want to just catch proof that you, uh, you know, have delivered your stuff or you want to catch proof of something uh, happening. So uh, with audio and video. So this is a good camera for you to have and to capture all of those. Models. So this is it really in terms of this camera. Um, if you do wish to grab more information, please do let me know. I will post a link in the description if you're interested in one of these. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.